Children do say unexpectedly profound things at times, don't they? I recommend that parents keep a notebook handy because you won't remember all their pearls of wit and wisdom unless you write them down. Well, at just three and a half, my daughter expressed real concern for a spiritually destitute uncle. Catherine said, I know how we could stuff up that heart for Jesus by getting the old heart out and a new heart in that doesn't have a hole in it. The influential French scientist Blaise Pascal defined the God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every man. He wrote, This he tries in vain to fill with everything around him, though none can help, since this infinite abyss can be filled only with an infinite and immutable object. In other words, by God himself. Bill Purvis was an aimless and empty young man on a desperate path. Here's part of his story. I just was trying anything and everything, and one night picked up a prostitute and, um, and went to have an experience with her, was fully undressed, and then it was really a setup for murder. The guy stepped in the room with a butcher knife, the blade nine and a half inches long, stabbed me three times in the chest, it went an eighth of an inch below my heart, came out my back. The only thing that stopped the blade was the handle. The second time he stabbed me was in the throat, went in one side and out the other, cut my juggler vein completely in half. Two weeks prior to that, a young guy had gone to a church and the pastor had said, I want you to think about somebody that doesn't know God. And he said, and I want you to witness to him. And he didn't tell him how, he just said witness to him. This young boy got me on his heart. He came up to my door, knocked on the door, and I opened the door. And he was standing there nervous and he said, Bill, uh, 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 everything you're looking for can be found in Jesus. And then he said, I gotta go. <laughs> and he, <laughs> so he took off. For two weeks, those words rattled me. I mean, every time I would pause, I would hear those words, everything you're looking for can be found in Jesus. And so that night when I was stabbed, I ran out into the street, choking on my own blood, knowing I was dying. And at that point, I heard those words again, everything you're looking for can be found in Jesus. And I ran to a parking lot and there was a light pole there. I grabbed that light pole and was holding it as I slid down it. And I just looked up and said, Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. Uh, I, I, and I really thought I was dying at that moment that, and, and, and I was going to hell for sure. And I just said, I ask you to come into my life. Jesus, please save me. That's the first prayer Bill ever prayed. He wakened after 11 hours of surgery on April 28, 1974, a new man. Bill returns every year on April 28th to that light post where he should have bled to death. And he offers a prayer of thanksgiving to his savior for a second chance at life. For over 33 years, Bill has been senior pastor of Cascade Hills Church in Columbus, Georgia. What a portrait of the Apostle Paul's assurance in 2 Corinthians 5:17 that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. Simple childlike trust can make it yours. We want everyone to know that they can live a life of joy and purpose now and forever. It's just as amazing as the transformation in Bill Purvis's life. You can hear his whole story, by the way, at 100huntley.com. And if you're feeling empty, fearful, looking for meaning in life, you want to deal with that hole in your heart, our prayer partners are waiting to answer your call.